Hello there, good morning. This is Kakaki Social. I'm Rena Obozege. Welcome to today's edition. It's all politics galore. At least that was what happened yesterday on the social media. So we begin this morning to say that the presidential petition court has ruled that a candidate of the All Progressives Congress in the February 25 presidential election, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, is the validly elected president of Nigeria. That was after Atiku Abubakar's case, which was the third and the last was dismissed. Now, the court earlier dismissed the petitions by the Labour Party's Peter Ruby and the All People's Movement, APM, who were challenging the victory of Tinubu. And with the ruling, Tinubu continues to be Nigeria's president, except the Supreme Court rules otherwise. That's if either of them goes to the apex court in town. How did this happen yesterday? Duncan says, when the constitution supports swearing in before confirmation of who actually won by the court, what do you expect? A classical case of being the judge and the jury, same time. For another user, VEA says, are you surprised? No, he left for India. If it didn't favor him, it won't be there. The judgment ended even before it started. Fasten your seatbelts, guys. Also reacting is Rosie Throne on Instagram who says, as expected, nothing fit shock me for Nigeria after all these. Also in reaction is Hasino who says, Woto Woto for Atiku and Obi, warm up together and for Alliance come 2027 by God's grace. Also, still in politics, and with this judgment, it is at the moment the end of the road for Peter Obi of the Labour Party and Atiku Abubakar of the PDP because the court did not just dismiss their petition. None of the issues for determination was determined in favour of Obi. And on the failure of INEC to electronically transmit results, the court ruled that Failure to each transmit result is not enough to challenge an election. And according to Justice Haruna Sanam, uh, Samani, manuals and guidelines cannot supersede the express provision of the Electoral Act. And it is only a controversy to the Act or of the Act that is, could be a basis of election petition as what the law provides for is physical collation of result. Now, on the alleged narcotics-related case, the court upheld that Tinubu was not convicted and that the $460,000 fine was a civil matter. And then they also added that they checked the National Crime Information Center, NCIS, that houses data of everyone that is linked to criminal activities in the U.S., and it turned out to be negative. About manipulation of results, you know, that's due to failure to transmit electronically, the court held that Obi and his party failed to disclose specific particulars where such took place. So their claims were vague, generic, and bereaved of supporting materials. And on 25% in the FCT, the ruling was that the FCT has no special status in the Constitution. And finally, we have to continue to us at 12 hour judgment and so it was long. So 10 out of the 13 witnesses who supported Obi and his party had their claims trashed for the star witness, Clarita Oga, an employee of Amazon Web Services. According to her, she was the one who said that there were glitches or no glitches on the server that day, but the court found out that the technical reports that she submitted to back up her claims were not hers, but something she downloaded from the internet. That was the position of the court yesterday. I told you it was a 12-hour judgment, so it was pretty long, and yes, I know. Let's have some reactions again to this matter yesterday. Um, Mobinin TV says, FCT is just like every other state, so I can contest to become the governor next election. What other time can you say they play? So Chude, uh, a staunch supporter of the Labour Party of Peter Obi, attached all of these graphics yesterday and he says, throughout the case hearing, the Labour Party Council tendered all these boxes containing evidence of widespread rigging state by state and polling unit. Witnesses were even brought to court. Today, these judges, Justice Bello, looked Nigerians in the face and said that polling unit where rigging took place were not mentioned by the petitioners, that the petitioners did not present any sheet of forensic document to show the state listed in certain paragraphs or rigged polling unit. Damn, I'm livid. 
For my brother and I, he says the lawyers could have done more, to be fair. They omitted a lot of evidence that should have been attached. The lawyers were being blamed yesterday for not doing so much. And for this user, he says it is not by bringing 50 truckloads of sheets of paper to court. They clearly stated that the petitioners failed to be proved specifically the number of votes that was stolen from them. And away from that, now reactions, of course, have started. The parties have all responded, even APM. And Tinubu is celebrating in India. APM, Allied People's Movement, said they would have to meet with their team of lawyers, first of all, before an official statement. Then the Labour Party, of course, expectedly rejected the judgment, saying it doesn't reflect the law and the desire of the people. It looks like they will be heading to the Supreme Court because they added that they will not relent until the will of the people prevails. And now for the PDP, they also rejected the judgment and they said it's against electoral laws, guidelines, regulations and even the constitution. And for them, they will review the judgment before deciding their next line of action. But let's have the only video reaction available from the APC and that's from Mr. President in India. <laughs> Almighty, uh, it's been a very, very strong and emotional journey for all of us, uh, struggling for democracy, truth, and justice for all. Today, we give kudos to the judiciary for uh, their indefeasible commitment to rule of law and to humanity. <laughs> Okay, let's have some reaction to this. Um, Shalom says, once INEC declares you winner, you are automatically the chief judge of Nigeria. It means you can't pass bad judgment against yourself. For Davido the singer, he says, Nigeria election and by who rugged pass. Also reacting is this user who says, congratulations, Nigerians should join hands together to support Bola Ahmed Tinubu in his government to make the country a better place. And finally, if the Supreme Court, no, not Supreme Court, Appeal Court, please. If the Appeal Court does not overturn the ruling, it means that Natasha will make the fourth woman in the 10th Nigerian Senate. Because yesterday it was ruled that besides the judgment or the declaration of the returning officer for that district, that's um, Kogi Central Senatorial Election that ruled as Rotimi Ajaye, who says that the APC candidate scored 52,132 votes to beat Natasha, who had 51,763 votes, now a difference of 369 votes earlier. But yesterday, the court announced that Natasha scored 54,064 votes, while the APC candidate scored 51,291. He was also asked to pay her 500,000 naira which she used for the petition. I think it was one of the celebrated wins yesterday or even the celebrated wins. Let's have some reactions to this development. The Unbroken says, Omo, this particular new suite, my belle, this woman saw Shege from Yahaya Belo. Congratulations to her. Colossus Black says, at least one positive today. Congrats. Hope she doesn't change to be like the rest of them. And also reacting is Chigozi Sivelsta, who says, leave all this one, a consolation where them don't arrange to make Nigerians happy while they strike out obese case at the tribunal. So yes, I told you it was politics because, of course, different hashtags for the same stories yesterday on the social media. And I do think that this would last quite a number of time and even beyond this week. So yeah, thank you so much for being a part of today's edition. That's how we call it a day. Our WhatsApp number, if you may reach out, WhatsApp only. If we're not used to hear WhatsApp only. Okay, 0811543670. WhatsApp only. Good morning, ladies. Good, Good morning. morning. Well, they're Deep. saying they gave us one and took the other. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, come on. Yeah. I mean, the ladies, at least we have one more senator yeah. uh, in, in the Senate. At least mix it for equal. them. Mm. Yeah, mix it for. And then, of course, with Nkiri Konyaja as well. 
uh, who had that ruling at the tribunal. That makes it about 16. So I do not know if it has anything to do with the presidential. I think that's conspiratorial theory for now, <laughs> for me. <laughs> all right, Rena, do have a great day. You and too, thank you thank for you. all those developments on the social media space. Yep. Thank <laughs> you.